visors down. Come 
years. <laughs> but although it seems a bird you may have in your homes, let's really change gears. Our next guest has a more honest reputation. <laughs> Try that again. Our next guest has a more honest Stop that, please. <laughs> Debbie, my sound set technician back there, I think she's having a little fun with me. Let me try this one more time. Our next guest can be seen lurking in numerous cemeteries, in countless horror films. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, grab small children by the hand. I said small children, ma'am, I don't even know that guy. <laughs> Everyone to sit down for me, please, and greet Monty, our King Vulture. Come on down, Monty. They're dying to meet you. I think he was dying to meet them. Yeah. <laughs> well, vultures receive their ominous reputation because of their eating habits. They like to eat lots of dead things. Ooh, looks like Monty's looking for food now. Everybody, look alive! says, does this taste funny to you? You never said it was a good joke. Hey, you see, vultures are sort of like nature's janitors. Sometimes they eat so much that if they are startled, they need to regurgitate to quickly lighten their load before they can fly away. Wait a minute, regurgitate? Uh-huh. Let's try not to startle Monty as he leaves the stage. How about another round of applause for Monty, our big vulture? Well, our next bird comes all the way from South America. She is a military macaw with four-star talent, generally speaking. Brian, yeah, I need to talk to you. <laughs> about those great puns? No, about Fifi. Oh, I was just getting ready to introduce her. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a big round of applause to Fifi, the military macaw! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please give a warm welcome to the beautiful, the talented, the what do you mean she's missing? I mean she's not here. I found this note in her dressing room. Oh my goodness. Fifi's flown the coop, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, this is terrible. What I wouldn't give to get her back. I give her more bird seed. I give her more attention. I'd even give her more money. Robin, do you have any money? No, sorry. It's a little embarrassing, huh? Does anybody out there have a dollar bill? We don't with a dollar bill. Anybody? Hey, right there with a white hat on. Sir, would you stand up for me? Stand right up. What's your name, sir? Ray. What is it? Ray. Ray. Everybody say, hey, Ray. Hey, Ray. Ray, where are you from? Brandon, Florida. Brandon, Florida. Ray from Brandon. You drove a long ways then, didn't you, Ray? Well, Ray, we're glad to have you here. Volunteer to give him a big round of applause. Okay, Frank, let me introduce you. Put your left arm up like this. Keep the money in your right hand. We'll hold it upward or Phoebe can see it. Phoebe, see that money? Go get it. Okay, right hand, Phoebe, the money. Great. Now, Phoebe, turn around and come on back. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You got 20 for me? Right. <laughs> He's only kidding, sir. I was? Yeah, you were. Hey, if I don't get any money, I don't think it's fair that you and Fifi get to keep Ray's dollar bill. Then I'm sure you would agree with the both of us. Ray, what I need you to do is put your left arm out like this. Put your right arm out like this. Go like this, Ray. Just fly on down and get it. Just fly right over those people. He's kidding again. Yeah, I did a lot of that lately. <laughs>
Dive me down over your heads, missing your heads by inches if you're lucky. Zipping through that second hoop in the middle of the theater. Off and around through that third hoop on the right. Then she's going to fly back to me. I don't think she can do it. Of course she can. I'll bet you a dollar she can. You're on, Brian. Come on, baby. Let's show how you do it. Audience, are you ready? surrounded by many different legends and many different cultures. The ancient Greeks thought that these birds brought good luck and good tidings. Well, the ancient Romans thought they announced death. Talk about going from one extreme to the other. And now the most common held legend is that these birds are very smart. In fact, see if you can finish this bird-related phrase. The wise old owl. owl that's right. The radar, our barn owl. Now, they're called barn owls because they're excellent hunters. They help keep the rodent population down in farm and garden areas. But they also adapt readily to man-made nesting boxes, but like the one located right outside of our theater. Wow, Brian, I'm very impressed. Oh, thank you, Medio. But, um, how did you know all of that? Well, uh, it's in the script. Well, did you also know that owls have totally, totally silent flight? flight. Let me guess, it's in the script, huh? Page 10. Uh-huh. Well, how about a demonstration, Radar? A silent flight is possible because owl feathers are very soft. They have cold light -like projections that act as mufflers. Do you cut that out, Brian? Oh, sorry, huh? I'm just trying to appear as wise as an owl. Hey, you see that glasses make a guy look smarter? What do you think? I think he just gives us a great way to move on to our next owl. This is Mia, our spectacled owl. She is from Brazil and gets her name from the broken circles of white surrounding her yellow eyes. These feathered spectacles make her look very intelligent, unlike some people. They are also called knocking owls because their call sounds like a woodpecker knocking on a hollow log. <laughs> the knocking owl, hey Mia, knock knock. Ooh, I hope you never expected to say who's there. Owl! Owl who? All we have to do now is have another round of applause for our beautiful owl! <laughs> what an excuse. <laughs> hey, Debbie, turn it up! Woo! Everybody, cut loose! Easy, Brian. We just want to make our next guest go more at home. Oh, why? They live in a disco? No, they live in the rainforest jungles of Indonesia. Be George and Gracie, our Eclectus parrot. Well, if that's the Eclectus parrot, uh, what's that one? An Eclectus parrot. Oh, I'm sorry. If that's the Eclectus parrot, what's that one? An Eclectus parrot. I am so confused. Well, don't feel bad, Brian. For years, scientists were confused, too. They thought these were two different species of birds. But actually, it's just the male Eclectus parrot with his vibrant green feathers and the female Eclectus parrot with her beautiful red feathers. That's pretty cool. Uh, how do you know which one's which? Ooh, I don't know, George. <laughs> I have this little trick. I just try to remember that George here has green feathers, so he's a guy. Yeah, I get it. Green guy. That's right. Red? Really not the guy. <laughs> if that works for you, Brian. In the wild, these birds travel in huge flocks, and like most animals, play a very important part in their environment. So I'm going to begin for George and Gracie. show here, but <laughs> Now this is Murphy. He's a green lizard. Uh, I know this is a bird show, and Murphy is obviously not a bird, but, but I thought you'd kind of like to meet him. He uh, so show man, get back here! Oh, it sounds like, whoa! Looks like Gomez are already getting Seriamas loose. Brian, Brian, have you seen Gomez? He, he's back in the they corner. There he is. Come here, Gomez. He can really move when he wants to. He sure can. Seriamas can reach running speeds of up to 25 miles per hour. They also have an unusual way of preparing their food. Would you like to see what I mean? 
Would you like to see what I mean? Yeah. Okay. Well, first of all, we need to find some of Gomez's favorite food. Gomez, you look over here. What do we have there? Oh, this is Murph. Whoa, this I got my green lizard. Ooh, Gomez loves lizard. <laughs> You see, Sierra beaks and feet aren't very strong, so they need to clear their prey by beating them on the ground. Be cool, huh? This technique not only kills their prey, but it also softens it up, making it easier to swallow. How about one more slam dunk, Gomez? Great job, Gomez. So, uh, we'll see you later. Well, there's one good thing about all this. It's a good thing Murphy's a rubber lizard. How about another round of applause for Gomez and that smashing demonstration? Well, from time to time, people send us postcards asking us questions about the birds. Now, some of you may have some of the same questions. So we've added a section to our show called Ask Fifi. <laughs> Now, Fifi, would you get me the mail, please? Well, thank you, Fifi. Air mail. I want a round of applause for Robin and Fifi. Well, our first postcard comes all the way from Jimmy Smithers of Spokane, Washington. Little Jimmy writes, Dear Fifi, I'm seven years old and I loved your show. My question for you is, which bird lays the largest egg? Love, Jimmy. Well, Jimmy has a good question. I can tell by the looks on some of your faces that you already know the answer. Like right here, what's your name? Kayla. That's absolutely right. Give Caleb a big round of applause. All right, Caleb, you're really good at this game. Which bird lays the largest egg? An ostrich. An ostrich. Is that right, Fifi? Is that right? That's right. All right, let's get Fifi and get him another round of applause. Go, Fifi. You know, Brian, we have some real ostrich eggs backstage. Really? Let's yes. bring them on out. Wow. Now, those are eggs. Hey, Fifi, what do you think of those eggs? <laughs> as you can see, these are extraordinary eggs. One ostrich egg is as large as two dozen chicken eggs. Oh, that egg is so big! How big is it? It'd take an hour and a half to cook a three-minute egg. <laughs> now that's big. Hey, Fifi, what do you think about triplets? What do you think about four eggs, Fifi? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, Brian, many birds lay two to three eggs, but ostriches lay their eggs in clutches or groups of six to eight. Chicken, you're absolutely right. Give her a big round of applause. Good job. <laughs> well, let's try it on 
come here just a little bit farther. What bird makes this sound? A shy bird. Let's try it. Can I hear it one more time, please? A woodpecker. Wow, you know your bird. Give her a big round of applause. Go. Let's try one more here. Let's see. You sir, right there. What bird, when startled, makes this sound? Sounds like a train to me. Oh, yes, indeed, a big old train bird. All right, give them all a big round of applause. Good job. Thank you, Well, ladies and gentlemen, speaking of bird calls, I am going to need your help to call out our next guest. Our next guest's name is Killy. Can everybody say, Killy? Yeah. Great job. Now, on my count of three, I need everyone to shout out Killy's name three times really fast. Here we go. One, two, three. Killy, Killy. Bachelors can't, can't. It's rare that they can't, can't. Say that five times fast. 
Bantalures spend most of their day in the air, often covering over 200 miles. Talk about your frequent flyers. In fact, these birds are so often seen flying that many African tribes believe that they never come to the ground. This is incorrect, because Bantalures commonly feed on carrion, you know, dead animals. Which are, of course, found on the ground. Of course. Ladies and gentlemen, meet Sanibel, a bald eagle, and the national symbol of the United States of America. Sanibel is a four-year-old immature bald eagle and will not acquire his characteristic white head and tail until the age of five years. The bald eagle was chosen to represent this country over 200 years ago. At that time, these majestic birds were quite common in many states. But today, eagles such as Sanibel are a rare sight. Well, what happens? There were a variety of things, but the most devastating were the widespread use of pesticides and the loss of their natural habitat. The good news is the government has recognized these problems and has enacted laws to protect these and other birds of prey. We must all work together to make sure the conditions continue to improve. These magnificent birds and all the beautiful creatures you'll see here today at Bush Gardens are a part of nature. We share this beauty and therefore have a responsibility to take care of our environment. Well, we've seen some great birds today and I, for one, would like to see them again. How about you? Well, get your cameras ready because here they come. Garden's bird show. But like I always say, when you look to the sky, remember it's for the birds. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Ladies and gentlemen, our trainers will be down front for a few minutes. So if you have any questions, feel free to step down to the edge of the stage and talk with us. Have a great afternoon at Bush Garden. to hold the macaw on your arm? As you exit the theater to your left, please visit our posing area located around the sidewalk on the right. Thank you, and enjoy the rest of your day here at Bush Gardens.
It was a good shot. Bird's eye view. Yeah. Hog. 
You gotta go like this. Wonder why they don't want to come out. That's I not you show it. from the other people before. Oh, you threw them out? Cypress Gardens is about the same. And then squirrels are like nuts on this. They climb all over you. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's what I was just telling Angela. <laughs> wow, 
Let's go see the koala bears. Oh, uh, yeah! All right, let's go. Yeah. Let's see. Take care and do it. Papa, 
Paul gave you a koala bear. Let's go see the lizards.
that's good. Hey, Christina. Christina, you like that? Was that fun?
if I, if I had a chance to go back to high school, I'd want to be on the newspaper staff. Well, I'll do it, man. You ought to do everything you can. Oh, is that like, that's a class, huh? Yeah. Well. You could do it when you're a senior, that'd be cool. What, your counseling? Yeah, your butt. Yeah, I know. I then, you could, then you could, like, be sure all your friends are in it. Make sure they got a good picture of you. Oh, we do that as they need to work. She interviews all of us in one group all the time. She takes his breath instead of anybody else. Wait, wait, wait. Christina's crying.
Wait for her to get out. Wait for her to get out first. You got away. There you go. Miranda. Connor. Connor. Is that fun? Did you want to go in that one? Let's go see the birds. Let her go in the air bounce. Take your shoes off, you might lose them in that rope. I wish they would have just stayed down here. Yeah, now where are they going? Bounce should be fun.
Say gross out, Christine. Yuck, uh. Say yuck. Say gross. Gross out. There you go. <laughs> Say yuck. Bye. Yeah. He threw up. Nice. He's already ate it. Look at the dirt twice. Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> that was quick. Okay, we'll be sitting here again. <laughs> okay, what what have we got here? Super cam, super cam, <laughs> zoom, zoom, zoom. Sunday, January the twenty fourth. Yeah, it's already on the tape. I got it. Look at the sand. Frankie still hanging in there. They got a woman. What? That's a buddy dog. Buddy. That's a buddy. <laughs> Quick zoom. Okay.